Welcome back Morales to a new video in which I'm gonna show you how to get the estimated gas price on Aptos. The reason why I love this endpoint is because it literally takes a second to both build the dApp and to get all the data. And we can easily include this in basically every dApp we will ever build because the gas price is something we all always want to know when we do new transactions. And with this endpoint, you get the date obviously, but you also get the deprioritized estimation, the most probable estimated gas price, and then the prioritized estimation. And we get this on load, so I can just refresh this page and we can get the data for that specific second. So I hope you enjoy this and want to learn how to build this and include this data inside your other dApps. Stay tuned and I will show you how. Hey, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor from Sweden. I've been into crypto since 2017 and have been building in the space since 2021. In my free time, I enjoy playing paddle, going to the gym or hanging out with my dog. I always try to enjoy some good pancakes, but that's for another time. Now let's get back to the video. To give you some context, to conduct any transaction with the Aptos blockchain on the mainnet, and the same goes for Ethereum and other blockchains, you are required to pay a processing fee, more known as gas fees, and on Aptos, that's called Octas. The gas fee on Aptos have a base gas fee that is based on instructions, storage, and payload. However, it is a market that determines the actual minimum gas unit price. I hope this gives you some clarity. Let's continue with the code and I have created this folder the estimate aptos gas price and within that one we have a backend and the frontend folder let's start with backend and we're gonna need to install a few dependencies so we have node fetch express dot emv and course now to get all the data we're gonna need to have an api key from morales because we're gonna add that inside our dot emv file so if you don't have one make sure you go to morales.io slash pricing to see the different plans we have right here Click get started on the pro plan and once you get that going, log in to your admin dashboard in Web3 APIs, you will get your API key. So let's copy it from here and we can paste that in inside our .env file. Once we've done that, let's create an index.js file and import node fetch express. We're gonna use port 5001 for our server and then let's also import course and .env. Then we can also import our API key from the .env file like so. So we're gonna use process.env and then add the variable name we used in this file. And then we're gonna store it in a new variable right here. Let's create our options object and add the Morales API key right here. And then at the bottom, we can start listening to our server. So this server is only gonna have one endpoint. It's gonna be a get request on slash get gas price. So when the frontend client goes to this endpoint right here, our backend server is gonna do a request to this endpoint right here using this options object. And when we get the response back, we're gonna send that to the frontend client along with status 200. And if something goes wrong, we're gonna console log that and also return status 400. So then our frontend client knows that something went wrong. And if you want to see more about the data we're getting back from here, you can go to the endpoint right here at Morales below Aptos. You can go to API reference, transactions API, and then go to estimate gas price. And you can actually try it out right here. So if I hit try it, we can see we're getting back this data right here. And the app we built right here, this data is coming back out of this object so you can display more than what i decided to display but that's totally up to you now back in visual studio code let's go on to the front end client which is a next.js application so make sure you set that up we're also gonna have to install axios to do the request to our backend server let's clean up our index.js page and only render the header and the main components the header being the title and the logo so we don't have to focus on that too much but let's jump into main and we can see that we have a use effect right here and which renders on load basically. And when we do that, we do an access request to our backend server on the port we set our backend server to and then on slash get gas price. And then once we get the response back, we populate the state variables right here so we can display the data. 
and down here is where we display everything so when show result is true we display this data right here and we format it a bit to show the date uh, in a better way and we're adding this gas pump image that I have inside the assets folder in public so that's about it guys we don't need too much more code and we can easily have this as a standalone app or include this functionality into our other dApps which make them more fulfilled so we can reload right here and see that the gas price hasn't moved a lot I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how to get the estimated gas price on Aptos and if you did, make sure you smash the like button and I will see you in the next video.